Everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage, and today we are looking at my high school problems. You say, Tone, I thought we were here to look at a video today, and you're absolutely right, we are looking at a video today, but here's the issue. The issue was in high school, the rich kids had Trans Ams. Guess what I had? Nothing at first, okay? And then my parents made me buy a Volkswagen station wagon with my own money that I made, right? Oh, wheeling around in that instead of something like this. And I think that's what started all of these problems and how we got here today with what we got going on. This right here is exactly how you'd build this car today because first off, the looks of this car is great. The effort that's gone into it is great. And the drivability is a whole nother level up, right? For, for going on a cruise out with family or another couple or with the kids or something like that. We're gonna spend some time looking at the detail and the effort put into this, right? And once you see all that, you're gonna have to find a way to get into your garage. All right, I like to talk about quality of paint, especially on a car like this. The paint is so nice and the detail in here is ridiculous. Let's talk about some stuff here for a second. So this is original 11 coated uh, Cameo white car. So really in its guise, it's dressed the way it's supposed to be. However, it has big brakes, it has suspension, it has big wheels and tires and some really nice stuff. Let's talk about this part here, which is the most exciting, right? The Hot Wheels on the air scoop right here, you either love it or you hate it. Those come off, you can take them off if you don't like them. You can put, uh, you know, 6.6 .6 liter, you can put whatever you want on there, or you can leave them all blank. You can put 455 if you want, whatever you want, you could have on there. The point is, this right here is so custom and so cool that you're not gonna run into another one just like it. And this bird that's on the hood here is all hand painted and the flames are hand painted and it is so beautifully done. And not only is it painted, it's in clear coated over and it looks really, really awesome. So as we look at this here and we talk about the quality of the paint, you know, you can kind of see every letter, every detail, everything that's in there. And I want you to make sure you can see that because that's the quality that you should be looking for. All right, let's take a peek under here. Uh, you're, I'm gonna tell you this is so funny because I opened the hood before we started this and I said, wow, this is amazing. And I was, what, if you say the same thing, check it out. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> it's a beautifully done job. When you have an LS drivetrain like this, you know that it has billions of dollars poured into it for R&D and development, and it just works. The overdrive automatic that's in it makes it a place where you can cruise. And little detail stuff that you might not see uh, right away is the stuff that says this is a different car than maybe other cars. For instance, like the shaker hood. That nobody really does that with LS because it doesn't attach to the engine like it's supposed to in the regular cars, right? The hood is separate from that. They went ahead and they welded all that in so that the shaker hood stays up in there. The air conditioning, for instance, little tiny thing like this where instead of the lines running across the engine or wide open over there, they run them inside the fender and on its way down uh, to there. And I, I look around and I see little stuff like uh, like stainless headers, right? With the O2 sensors right there, blacked out pulley uh, serpentine belt system. Just a nice touch so when you open the hood, it really does look like you could take it to a show and enjoy that. And the power delivery and sound is amazing. All right, so there's no mistake in the Trans Ams. For instance, like if I cover this up right here, there's no mistaking a Trans Am for a Hyundai. It has a certain taillight look. The, the exhaust system that hangs down here is this beautiful polished stainless uh, giant elephant legs. Uh, then the spoiler system, you just know from behind, if you're a car person, it's all detailed underneath that it's a Trans Am. However, once you get in here, and let's say you wanted to go to uh, a car show or what have you, this has all been painted in detail. It's got the cool mat like it's supposed to. This is all painted as well. New gaskets and stuff. You can tell that this was a high dollar restoration. And I think that if you're gonna drive a car like this that sounds like this, it needs to look like this as well. All right, so come join me inside here because this is uh, a nice, nice interpretation of uh, an updated cockpit with some cool old and cool new mixed in together. So for instance, the dash looks stock, but it's not. It's a full digital LED with check engine light because we have a modern drivetrain in there. Um, I don't know, it's just, I just love little stuff like this. And then we have an old school eight track tape layer still in place right there. If it was me, I'd probably say, listen, uh, can you guys install uh, a nice digital sound system in the glove box, keeping the dash kind of looking like this, or we can put in a digital sound system right there, whatever you like. This is one of my favorite things. This is a dual gate shifter from Hirsch, so it's called a his and hers shifter. We no longer say that because it's not appropriate any longer, so we just call it a dual gate, right? And so the way it works is, uh, when you're just driving the car regularly, it could shift through its gears. And let's say you decided that you wanted to get on it. You slide that gate over, pull this back, and each time you make a shift, it can only go so far, and boom, and then you don't miss any shifts. 
This car's pretty fast, and it's a really nice piece to have when you're doing that. The tilt wheel's kind of nice too, because as we get a little older, we might look like a little more room. This has cold, modern air conditioning and modern heat, man. You can go out to dinner on August evening in this car and everybody won't arrive smelling like gas and sweaty, right? You could take the kids for a long drive. You could go to the beach in this car. This is the kind of car that says, you know, when you talk about pro touring, we talk about great looking body styles without uh, some of the things that go along with old school stuff. Modern suspension here, big wheels and tires, and all just kind of wrapped around while you cruise. All right, so we close up the video on this. We have replica 17 inch big wheels and tires with a great modern suspension underneath, tubular control arms with a drivetrain that makes at least, uh, well, I shouldn't say at least, but I'm just gonna throw it out there, twice as much power as the original car did. Not to mention you hit the key, whether it's hot or whether it's cold, it doesn't care. You know, it's not like a carbureted car. The overdrive automatic makes it so you can drive to the beach, man. You could drive some long place, go to the mountains, go some winding roads or whatever and have some fun working the shifter up and down. Comfortable interior, air conditioned, heat, stereo, on and on and on. This car costs way more than you have to spend to buy it right now. And this is the way to buy a car because this is really the way to do it, is let somebody else restore it, drive it for a little bit, and then you're the benefit of all those details. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Pro Touring Trans Am. If you don't mind, share the video uh, with some friends. And if you would like it right there at that little button below and subscribe to the channel and we'll send you all the videos that we get.